I'm Liz Fenwick. I have a DIY YouTube channel, Liz Fenwick DIY. As you can imagine, I've had my fair share of DIY fails. Each week, I will break down my DIY failures and the craziest fails that you send in. If you have a story you'd like us to share on a future podcast, email us at stories at lizfamickdiy.com. So our first story is from Patty. Patty says, hi, Liz. Back in 1973, when I'd only been married for two years, I decided in our brand new home to decorate the small bathroom in our room. I don't know where I saw this or what gave me the idea, but while my husband was at work, I proceeded to wallpaper the walls with aluminum foil. Yes, Reynolds wrap times several boxes. Oh my goodness. I just randomly came up with the idea thinking it would sparkle and look cool. I crinkled it a little bit so that it had lots of texture for the walls. I used glue, but I cannot tell you what kind I used. I had a very small Jack and Jill bathroom that had a step-in shower, small vanity, and toilet. So it didn't take that much tin foil, actually. When my husband came home, he went in to take a shower and hollered out to me, what the heck have you done? I ran in there and asked if he liked it. And he replied that he would not be using the heat lamp above because he would feel like a baked potato. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. No one liked it. It came down a couple of weeks later. So we ripped it all off. And because I had used a rubber cement type glue on it, we had to texturize the wall to hide the imperfections. It did major damage to the drywall as well. That is when knockdown was pretty popular. So my husband proceeded to apply the plaster on the wall and then would use a sponge to press and pull it away until it had the desired texture that I liked. I still like that today. I honestly don't know what I was thinking, but at the age of 20, it was my first big home project and still my worst. Some of the trends that were popular back then were macrame plant hangers, wall designs, lava lamps, and mirror squares with gold veins were popular as well, but definitely not aluminum foil wallpaper. Now married 50 years, my husband and I are pretty good at home projects. I love that story so much. I don't think I've ever done anything as bold as aluminum foil, but I love her husband's response that he wasn't going to turn on the heat lamp because he didn't want to feel like a baked potato. (laughs) That is awesome. Oh my goodness. Well, at least you guys were able to fix it and you had those DIY capabilities to fix the walls. But I feel like when we're young, we all have those failure stories. If you have a story you'd like us to share on a future podcast, email us at stories at lizfamickdiy.com.